Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Thought I'd come on and I'm thinking of trying to start something new for my channel. Um, and this will be the first episode. I was thinking about doing a series of pockets and it's not going to be, you know, necessarily all my ideas or anything like that. It's just inspired ideas and things like that. Uh, just to have some fun and to give you guys some ideas. I, I know I am really close to my workspace and so I'm going to probably be standing up every now and then to make sure I am actually in camera. <laughs> so, all right, so the first pocket that I was thinking to do is with a CD holder. And so, you know, you have your CD holder and lots of times we use these and we attach them and, you know, flip them and have a pocket this way or something. So I was thinking that I am going to make a pocket where it gets glued down this way, but you still have this and we're going to reinforce it a little bit. I mean, of course, I'm sure people have done it before, but, um, you know, I haven't. So I thought that's what we would do today. So what I did was tore it open and I am going to start from there. I actually want to make my circles smaller and this one actually was not um, attached very well at all. So that works um, pretty well actually to, to alter it as much as I'm going to. When I took it apart, I was like, oh, wow, there's like barely any glue holding this at all. So we're just going to go ahead and add a little glue. It's going to get stitched around, so not that big of a deal. Let's see, maybe I'll put a little bit here at the top also. Just so it stays down when we're all finished. Okay. So where do I want to start? I'm not sure. I don't need to ink any of it because the entire thing is going to be covered. Now I want to cover this with this paper. This paper was one that I found, oh gosh, I used it a long time ago in the Shabby Chic Journal. I don't remember what it's called, but, um, oh, Faded Roses or something like that. And I don't remember, was it My Porch Prince? Um, anyway, I want to, I wanted to just put a smaller circle in the center. So I took my three inch circle punch and made myself a template and just traced it because this won't go far enough in to be in the center. It's like off to the side and I didn't want that. But if you guys have some sort of circle um, maker that, you know, you can center in on your paper, that's great. Otherwise, you can just make yourself a template. I tried to do most of it, uh, the prep with, you know, just on my own so you guys didn't have to watch things like cutting. But I wanted to show the entire process, so... This is, I think, the only cutting we'll be doing. And it will be showing the, the cut that I'm making, and you could do all kinds of things to trim it out so it doesn't show but mine is going to be showing. So I tried to do my cutting fairly smoothly, but if it was gonna be covered up, you know, you could just roughly cut it and it would be totally fine. Uh, you could put trims around it and things like that. You could do like a whole circle of like a flower wreath all the way around it, you know, something. But I am going to have my cut showing. Okay, that might be the only inking you have to watch also. 
I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down because I want it to dry a little bit before I do some stitching. I just wanna make sure I have it right side up and that I have my print right side up and I'm gonna glue it down just like this. I don't know how well the glue, um, I'm probably out of camera. I don't know how well the glue attaches to the plastic of the CD case, but I'm gonna stitch around the circle, so it's okay. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry a little bit before stitching around it. I had considered stitching around the circle and also around the square, uh, but I decided I don't think I want to do that. I think that I'm going to do a, you know, like a thumb punch. But now that I say that, will it look funny to have a thumb punch with a circle? right underneath. It might. Maybe I will stitch, which means, okay, I'm gonna pull this off. I was going to just glue it down and then cut across the whole thing, but I don't wanna lose what I just put there. So it'll probably come off right where the See, I didn't think it out totally, but I thought it out mostly. I'll just go ahead and ink that top part. And then, so this is gonna be, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll use this to reinforce the other side. I probably shouldn't have pulled it off. I should have folded it down and reinforced it that way, huh? That would have been smart. That's okay. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. How about that? So you just want it to be short enough so that it's not showing through the thing there. And then we'll go ahead and glue it down and let that dry. This also covers the edge of the plastic here on the CD envelope. Um, so that whatever you put inside doesn't get caught on that. So that's good. Just a little bit where I pulled it apart, sticking up, but no, we'll cut that off. get those nasty. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a little bit. And if I get glue on here, I don't know, I might have. Oh, it's just a little something on the front, I think. Okay, so that will be like that. Okay, then I also wanna cover this back side. So you always wanna make sure that you're getting everything that you're putting on there in the right, you know, like don't put it upside down or sideways, just keep checking uh, where you are. And I actually think what I want to do is I wanna put this in after so that it will hold these little things down and my, you know, tags and stuff that I put in the pocket won't get caught on those things. That's what I'm thinking I want to do. So I can't do that yet. I can't. So we need our glue to dry because I don't want to stick wet glue through the... This is the wettest part. Do I have a paper towel?
I think what I will do is go ahead and stitch around my circle. And then we'll do the stitching around the rest. Okay. Stitching around a circle is really kind of painful. Um, I'm going to put a little decoration here. So I think we'll start... I do better with my line, my guideline this way, do I? I think I do, yes. So I'm making it so my little guideline thing on my foot that you guys can't see. I thought you'd be able to see that. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit. Maybe? No? Let's see. I haven't done this in a long time where I've tried to move my camera so you can see my stitching. So sorry about the wiggle. It's just not working, is it? Well, okay, so I have a little guideline here on my stitcher foot. And it helps if it's on this side for me. I don't know about you guys. And you just have to go really slow and you might have to kind of correct yourself. You guys done this before it's crazy hard and like I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera <laughs> by the time I'm finished with this the glue will definitely be dry what do you think we're halfway around so the thread that I'm using is fairly light because I used all of my darker thread on the journals that I've been making. Goodness, almost there guys. go too fast it's gonna look bad stop Stephanie I'm gonna lose my circle to correct a little bit okay and then I'm just gonna go over a slight amount okay good now I have no idea where my camera is focused I'm gonna get this out of the way because we don't need it anymore. And I am crooked and everything, so I'm straightening you up. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, I'm not done with it. Doggone it. I was gonna do it around the edge. It's still not dry. Well, then I won't stitch it. That'll be fine. Next time. I'm just gonna go around a little bit so I can darken my thread. So yeah, I need to go to the store and buy some darker thread. I have some really dark, but I didn't want it to be crazy, crazy dark. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this back shut. And then we'll slide this down in it. That's the plan. And we just really need it to hold because our music paper, our music paper will be covering, you know, a lot of it and holding it closed also. So now remember when you have a pocket like this, you don't have to fuss too much with getting glue all over this piece of paper because it's not gonna come out. All you have to do is put a little bit of glue up here at the top and it's gonna stay in there, okay? Just wanna make sure you have your music right side up and fairly straight within the circle once you get the glue in there. 
and then just stick some glue back in there. I'm just gonna go right along the edge if I can get any glue out. <laughs> Look, the lid's on. Can you guys tell I haven't made any videos lately? Hopefully, I'll be back, get getting back into making regular videos here real soon, I think. I hope. So that looks pretty straight. I'm going to raise it just a little bit. So that I've got music everywhere. Like, I, there was kind of a blank space here, here at the top. So that's pretty good. And then I think I'm just going to fold this over. Reinforce it a little bit. This is some old music paper, so I wouldn't be surprised if it just cracks when I go to fold it. glue under it. Okay, so when you put it down on your paper, you'll have a pocket here, and then if you glue it around the edges, you'll have a pocket in the back as well. I think I'll ink that just a little bit in case it shows. I don't think it will. But we can put a little ink on the edge. Okay, so let's decorate this a little bit. I have, this is one of Tina's uh, from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And then these are just flowers that I have. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to stick a little butterfly down in there. I forgot. I can still do it. I can still do it. Where did my glue go? You guys see my glue? I have no idea where it went. I'm telling you what, I totally don't see it. That is crazy. Okay, so if this is here and here, I think I want it kind of, you know, going this direction, I think. So I'm just gonna kind of place it. Hopefully I kind of get the right place. And hopefully it's all dry before it sits down on there. Okay. Oh, I put my glue in where I never ever put it. That is weird. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue rather than the Aline's Quick Dry because of the plastic. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but that's why I'm doing it this time. I don't use the Art Glitter Glue very often because it dries really fast and I make mistakes. I just wanted it to kind of come onto the circle quite a bit. And then Maybe, maybe like that. So these are, these flowers are just flowers that I have found on the Graphics Fairy website. And I find flower images and I, I copy them onto uh, Word documents and I crop all of the stuff away that I can so that I'm not printing a bunch of stuff that I don't want. And then I fussy cut them out from there. And I make them different sizes so I have different things to choose from. 
Okay, so that's cute. So let's see what it looks like on a page. I have a piece of coffee dyed paper here. So, so let's say this is a journal page. Let's make sure that I'm in camera. Get that circle out of here. So let's see, here's a journal page. And then I made a couple of tags just from some things that I found here and there. So this could be inside. So you can see some stuff poking through. Seeing if it's getting caught. Nope, it's not getting caught on anything. Okay. Yep. So there, and then if you glue it down around the sides, there's another tag. Let's pretend it's glued down. So you could have all kinds of tags inside of there. I did stitching on these, so the stitching is catching a little bit. But here's, here's those. Okay, you guys. So yeah, this will be my first my first try at a pocket. We'll call it episode one and hopefully my video making skills um, come back. <laughs> Not that they've ever been really good, <laughs> but I have just been totally for some reason out of the habit of making videos for like three weeks now. So hopefully I'll get back to it. Hope you guys like this pocket and you can give it a try and you know give me a thumbs up comment um, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you soon thanks for watching bye